Good morning, everybody. Um, pleasingly, we had nearly 20,000 tests in the last 24 hours in New South Wales. Thank you to everybody coming forward to get tested. And there's no doubt uh, that some people may have delayed getting tested over the weekend and waited till yesterday. And can I please encourage everybody to get tested as soon as they get symptoms. Please don't wait. If it happens to be on a weekend that you get your symptoms, please get the test that weekend. But I do want to thank the nearly 20,000 people that came forward and got tested. We did have 10 cases overnight. However, six of those are in hotel quarantine. So six are in hotel quarantine and four are from existing known clusters. So no unknown cases today. And Dr. Chant will go through the four cases in the community which are from existing clusters. And pleasingly, the one unknown case we had from yesterday has since been ruled out. So there was one under investigation yesterday that has since been ruled out. So New South Wales continues to hold the line, but we do need to be ever vigilant. And again, can I thank the nearly 20,000 people that came forward to get tested. It's only through high rates of testing that we can have confidence moving forward that we're picking up any uh, unknown cases or picking up any strains which may have been previously detected. And that is really critical for us moving forward, especially as we enter the summer months where we're looking at uh, allowing people to do those activities they enjoy over the summer. And again, we are extremely um, uh, cautious about the school holidays. We know that families and individuals will be moving around the whole state and that increased mobility can also affect potential transmission. So we're asking everybody to be on high alert, to do all the things they normally would do in a COVID safe way. And we're also encouraging and making sure that through Service New South Wales, regional businesses and tourism operators in particular have those COVID safe plans in place because ordinarily outside of the school holidays, you may not be welcoming as many people as you otherwise would, but clearly during the school holidays, you will have more people coming to those venues. I also wanted to foreshadow that the task force I appointed with the Deputy Premier, Minister Ayres and the Treasurer has done some very good work on what uh, major sporting events and other events will look like into the future. And I just wanted to foreshadow that the government will have something to say about that in the next few days. Um, they have done some good work given uh, the input from health on what we may consider a safe way to host some of these events into the future. Uh, New South Wales, um, as I said, is holding the line well. We are doing well, we wanna keep it that way. And so when it comes to major sporting events and other major events, we are through health input and also I have to say the great work of police looking at how we can have some of those key events done in a COVID safe way to really support the direction in which New South Wales is going but also as a big thank you to the community for working with us to get us to where we are today. Today I'm also very pleased to have joined with me the Treasurer and Minister Lee, the Minister for Skills and Tertiary Education to make an important announcement around the New South Wales government's contribution towards job trainer. Uh, already, Minister Lee uh, has assured that 115,000 people have applied for a free TAFE course. Now, through the Treasurer's great efforts, we have an extra $160 million the New South Wales government is putting in, in order to provide extra skills training for people to get jobs, uh, during COVID, obviously, for those who've lost their jobs, but also post JobKeeper running out. So Job Trainer will make sure that we proactively uh, reach out to industry and match industry needs to what skills are that are required. And by matching those two things, we can make sure that we're targeting those skills and those jobs that people should be aspiring to post-March, but also during this difficult time. And